marble, noble and precious, has always represented the excellence of Italy around the world. The marble market guarantees the survival of hundreds of companies, along with the economic well-being of the men and women involved in its day-to-day -day processing. Yet the marble business is a very dangerous profession. It's coming down. Working with stone means confronting the risk and fatigue of an extreme environment like the quarry. Here we've got to use force, all at once, no giving up. Success is achieved by overcoming the difficulties and challenges of an increasingly competitive sector. It's no job for the faint-hearted. To be cut out for it, they must be men of stone. In the heart of the Apuan Alps, a new day of work is about to begin in search of the types of marble necessary to complete the largest company order, the cladding for building 555 in New York. Up till now, however, the situation has not been positive. Despite directly involving Barbara, the project manager, in block selection, they have yet to obtain a solid block of statuary at the Russia quarry. Go, go, go! Due to natural defects in the marble. This has created a lot of tension at the base. We need more material. I've already done everything I can. I talked to the men again, but let's hope the project with Tanax goes through. With delivery deadlines fast approaching, Paolo Carli has decided to intervene by making use of an innovative project. The goal is to get a block intact. This is the ideal objective. We don't know what will happen. So we can start right away. We can give it a try and see how it goes. Good, let's start right away. When Barbara goes up there, she can start talking with the managers to locate the block. The right block. The project involves applying a special resin that promises to save the material from fracturing. If you look over there, there's a bit of a defect, also there. But it's much bigger. Yes, it's a greater quantity of material. It's already sectioned below. Then let's apply the resin here. Barbara and Enrico have decided which block they will attempt this experiment on. At the Brescia quarry, on the other hand, are there any movements up there? Luca has had to overcome a thousand unexpected problems while trying to cut the block that should contain Vasilis, the other type of marble necessary for the 555 order. It's smoking like the Pope! But he's not yet ready to overturn. Mario at the Piastroni quarry is working on a designer chaise long project for Letizia. Up till now, however, due to difficulties connected with the quarry's transformation into a tunnel, he has not been able to obtain a whole block for processing. Finally, at the Gioa quarry near Carrara, the Antonioli brothers, hired by Carli to supply 7,000 meters of marble for a new American residential complex located on Leonard Street, had a perfect plan to satisfy the request. Luca, here I am. Take it all down. We can't do it. We can't take the channel out. When the discovery of a defect in the huge block, we have to find another solution, forces them to rethink the whole process. It should be raised. The work is important. We have to try to do something. We have to create a notch to allow it to turn. It won't pass like this. A guide notch? Yeah. But it'll cut into our quantity. We have to see. Let's take a look, but I don't think so. Working in the narrow spaces of the tunnel, the problem is allowing the huge block to pass without it getting stuck on the walls. Let's mark everything. This continues on 
Do you think this is enough? Yes, it's more than enough. Of course, this thing is big. If we can't pull it down, it'll stay up in the air. Now, to overturn the block, I have to reshape the foot below with the shape of the blocks I want to make. In this way, I think I can overturn it. By removing a portion of the base of the block, called a notch, when they overturn it, Cesare and his team should be able to direct its fall, avoiding contact with the wall. But to do this, all operations must be done with the to the millimeter precision. Loosen this. Give it a turn here and one there. Cesco, you have to straighten the one behind and it's good. When we finish here, we go to arm those above as well, so we can make up some time. OK, let's do that. I'll land a hand here and then afterwards I'll go above. OK. OK. Did it go through? On top of Mount Altissimo, Michaela begins his rounds at the Russia quarry without realizing that Barbara has moved the cut to a larger block to apply the resin. Here we were ready to overturn, but Barbara arrived and... That portion there? Yes, that one. Because there's that famous defect here. Exactly. The only thing is I took a little initiative. I put a machine here. I started to widen here. So it stopped here? No, I'm ready. The only thing is that when she saw the work... Does she want to go here first and then there? Exactly. The problem is that it's even more broken here, but she saw more material. The mass is thicker and they want to use the resins. I'm not sure how the resins work. I know they use resins on smaller blocks, but not this size. Small block slabs and things like that they've managed to do. But the blocks in the mountain, for such large pieces, my grandfather would say that even though man's been to the moon, covering a mountain in resin before knocking it down is a bit much. The order from the base. And she's going to take care of organizing all that? Yes, she's handling it all. We do what the boss said. Of course, if you want to wait a moment, the workers are coming with Barbara to do the resin. If you want to see the work... No, no, I have my job to do. You manage them. I don't want to see anyone. I'll come later to see it in action, to observe the result. If it works, we have other jobs to give them. OK. On the other side of Altissimo, at the Piastrone quarry, Mario has practically exhausted all his options and has only one block left from which to obtain the material he's looking for. I'll try with this piece here, though. We're at the weight limit for the shovel. Do you have a block? No, I'll do a little kiss underneath. The problem is the block is so large and heavy, it can't be lifted with the force of the mechanical shovel alone. If I see the weight is too much for the shovel, I'll open the fork so at least it'll fall on the soft ground and I won't risk breaking it much. Since it's not really a team, you keep an eye on it and make sure one part remains on the block below. The only way to maneuver successfully is to gradually rest part of the block on the quarry wall below, so as to unload the forks of the excavator. Come a little closer. Begin to lower it. 
Should I move a little that way? Touch up there. Come forward, lower it because it's coming off below. Under the weight of the block, the wall of the block below begins to give way. After you'll have all the weight, start dropping it as long as you can. Drop it. Mario is now too far along and can't help but continue with his plan. It's on the machine. You can feel the machine struggle and go off its axis. Towards you. Drop. Is it still touching there? Yes. Go down, not back. Be careful. Drop and close. Are the forks touching under the rock? No, you're fine. When I had it all inside the forks while attached up to the plate, I finally had a little bit of security because it couldn't get away here or there, but it was too long and it took me off my axis. I slowly lowered it until it rested on the bed of debris. It has to be washed. I'll take care of it. Look on the sides for any defects. It's the right quality. It's all white. It's the right quality. Dimensions too. At least I took home a good piece. I call it Tizia. It was a great satisfaction, because the quarry is small, the rows are close, narrow, there are many defects, and to see every now and then that I can pull out a whole quality piece is satisfying. Listen, I think I found the piece. It's the right quality. Go slowly down the road and pay attention to your belly. At the Bresci quarry, the cutting of the block continues, but due to the presence of numerous defects in the marble which undermine its stability, an excavator has been placed to shore up the block safely. Ricardo, are we finished? There's a problem. The machine is making strange noises. I'll slow it down because if I load it more, it won't work. Maybe less water? Any less than this? I already reduced it before it was creating dust. Turn the water back on. I know, but it's back there now. Given the accumulating delays, Michaela meets up with Luca to try to understand the nature of the problem. Why is it like this here? We'd like to know too. The machine is making a strange noise, but it hasn't stopped. All the wires not cut it. How long has this been happening? Since this morning. First of all, you should have told me right away. Secondly, since there's another machine, you should have switched it out. Now you can't even switch it. Indeed. The machine is cutting, but instead of doing the amount of meters it would normally cut in an hour, it's doing a half or a third. It's taking too long. You change the machine and then it's the same. If it depends on the wire, do you change the wire? We don't have a wire for it. I told you he'd be angry. I know, but I don't know what else to do. Before it wouldn't start, now it doesn't cut. Now Michele arrives and is in a hurry because he's stressed by Barbara who wants this Vesilis. Honestly, if I had hair, it would fall off. The sanguine quarryman is way behind schedule and is trying his best to be ready to overturn by the end of the day. The technicians in charge of applying the resin which promises to save the defective blocks have arrived at the Russia quarry. Good 
morning. Good morning, I'm Enrico. How's it going? Enrico, pleasure to meet you. I'll show you. Okay, thank you. The portion of the block to be pulled down is this one. This area here will be overturned. The only problem is that here it's fractured in one, two, three, four places. It's all fractured. And in fact, she told me about this innovation. Yes. Can you explain how it works? Yes, gladly. So we'll start with work on the block face, because it'll then help us during the overturning phase, so that it protects the descent a little at the moment of the kiss. The innovative part will be behind the block because we'll make deep holes, almost as large as the block where we'll insert maxi cartridges. That'll make a skeleton for the block, so that when we knock it down, it will also hold the rear fractures of the block together. This is one of the first experiments we've done, so we're hoping for the best. We're trying this new technique of applying resin to the block in the hopes that it will remain intact and give us as much material material is possible. I think this is the first time something like this has been tried in the industry. If it works, we'll revolutionize the world of excavation. To tell you the truth, I'm not that confident in this process. Now, we'll see if it works. How tall is this? 670. We'll go to 550 in order to structure the part. OK, that's fine. So let's proceed like this. The first step in the process consists in making perforations along the entire block. Since this has never been attempted before, it is necessary to follow all the steps perfectly. But even so, the chances of it failing remain high. However, should it work, the base will finally have the statuary necessary for finishing the 555 order. At the Geo Quarry, the Antonioli brothers are proceeding with their plan to overturn a huge block weighing over 1,000 tons. In order not to risk shattering it on the walls of the quarry, they must remove a section of the base, called a notch, so they can better control its fall. Slowly. This cut here was made to direct the portion we want to remove towards the left, otherwise it would hit the wall. Insert the cushion. Once the notch has been removed, they can now begin the overturn. They begin inserting spreader cushions and socks behind the block in order to begin separating it from the mountain. On the other hand, it is necessary to lay out a huge bed of debris on the ground, which will have the important task of cushioning the impact of the extra large block when it falls. The bed must be made like an upside down wedge, a very tall external part, as much as possible. Look, that's not enough. Not enough? Yes, Danilo says it doesn't look like much to him. On this side, you mean? I need to raise the bed there. With the notch it has, it'll come this way, but the guide goes that way. The direction is OK, but afterwards it needs to be raised from behind as much as possible. The bed will need everything. Seeing the height of the block, let's say we're right at the limit. On the left side, we could use another couple of meters. It needs two shovelfuls on the left, and that's it, to fill and square the block. Now everything is ready to begin pushing the block. Come forward. 
The tool we use now for pushing has a lot of force and we risk breaking the footing. So let's say that this force is distributed equally over the entire surface that covers this piece of metal. But to knock down 1,000 tons of marble, a simple excavator won't be enough. So the Antonioli brothers must deploy the heaviest vehicles available. Will they be able to overturn the block before Carly comes to check on their work? At the Bresci quarry, Luca has completed cutting, but he and Michaela find themselves having to overturn a block full of defects. How's the situation? To do this, they must take all necessary precautions. This is ready. I insert at the one by one meter cushion. OK, give the go ahead and then we'll see what the situation is. Either you'll push it from above or I'll do it from below if it's necessary. OK? Perfect. The hydraulic cushions begin to spread the block. What work have you done with the cushion? It's already opened quite a bit and this one here is coming back. I already see the defects. It's opened up along them. That's what I thought. There, as soon as you open it with the cushion, there's that conspicuous defect. But under their pressure, the defects give way in different directions. It's not closing. Not closing again? As a consequence, the block stops separating from the mountain. To safeguard as much Vasilis as possible, action must be taken immediately. Listen. We need to try and stop it. Get on the excavator. Try to touch the defect. Nudge it. But slowly. We have to open it between one defect and the other, like a fan. So we can save some material. To avoid fracturing the material, Luca must dole out the force of the mechanical arm with great attention. Try a tap on the front, please. The excavator spoon works with the farthest tooth, like that. Bravo! Try there. Go! Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're too far to one side. The position of the excavator, however, makes precise maneuvers impossible. Listen, move the machine and I'll try from below. At least we can try to save a little more material. Michaela is thus forced to change strategy and take matters into his own hands. I try on the tip there. Stretch out. Stretch out. Good. Knock it down. Come on. Pull. Come forward. Come forward. Knock it down. Pull. 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 Watch the wire. Perfect. The manoeuvre succeeds and the marble hits the ground intact. Listen, move it right away, because if that falls on it too, there'll be damage. From up here, it looks like behind there's good material. To conclude the operation, however, the other portion of the block remains to be overturned. Luca and Michaela must extract it before Barbara's inspection.
At the Piastroni quarry, after digging out the block, Mario is checking that it fits the dimensions provided by Letizia. Well, this defect here is parallel to this one anyway. Mario, have you done it? I think so, yes. You can see the quality here and we're ready. The piece is large enough for the chair. Have you checked the measurements? Is it all there? The narrowest part is 80 and you need 70? Yes. So we're good. And then after that it widens. The width is 1 meter 40 and the whole course is 1 meter 40. As you can see this strip here. It's the top part. The part above is the same as this. The quality is exactly what I was looking for. The dimensions are right. Well, Mario, however... What however? I had to break the bad news to him. The architect, Casamonti, called and told me he wants another one. It seems like they almost do it on purpose every time. Just when you think the goal has been achieved, there's always something more. Have you seen the quarry there? I've already struggled for a piece like that despite it being small. When it's on the truck, it looks tiny. But I had to work for it as if it were a 40-ton block. You can't even imagine how much I worked to get you that little piece there. Now there's all that trailing until I pass that. You have two weeks to deliver it. The architect wants the material within the time set by him. We absolutely have to make him happy. Is there nothing down below? No, I've already checked. You're melting my brain today. They always give me a deadline, a quality and a specific dimension. But the quarry doesn't work like that. To promise you that I'll have this piece as soon as possible isn't likely. I couldn't tell him no, Mario. It's Casamonti. You can't say no to him. I can't say no to you. I hope Mario is able to pull it off. It's possible other ideas might come from this one, and I have to do my best. They rightly have to make the customer happy, and it's good everything is moving, but always in such a hurry. Try pushing the deadline back with the architect and I'll see what I can do. I'll do my best, but really help me out. Mario thought he'd concluded his collaboration with the meticulous design manager, but instead finds himself back at the beginning. At the Russia quarry, Work to apply the special resin that should prevent the marble from fracturing continues. After creating perforations along the entire block, large cartridges must be inserted inside them, which will form the armor to protect the precious material. We've placed one every meter because we think, based on the holding and braking forces, it should be enough to hold. So, it's like a riveting. It has a better grip because it has aluminium and fiberglass inside. It becomes a single pole built from chemistry and structure. And how much can a nail like this withstand? Every X amount of perforation must hold X tons of force. To tell the truth, as a quarry man, I'm a bit skeptical. I appreciate your doubts because it's such an innovative process. It's clear it has to be understood by you first and by us trying to follow the advice you give us. It would be a unique innovation for us and for you. Let's see how it goes. But you're worried. I hope I'm wrong. But the work isn't finished yet. Now it's time for the block face. Starting from the top, the resin must be spread out evenly so it penetrates into the defects to keep the block compact. Compared to a normal extraction process, all these phases further delay the work of the quarrymen without any guarantee of success. Now I have to wait for the resin to dry before I start sectioning the block and detach it from the mountain. While the impossible is being attempted on the mountain to obtain the material necessary for the 555 order, 
concern is mounting at the base for the economic result of the project. Come to S5 for a moment. It's a lot of waste, a bit more complicated work, but the jobs are planned by the office and already seen by the client. There's a lot of waste. There's too much waste. During his inspections, Carly realizes that the slab cuts selected by Barbara favor quality too much and end up wasting an excessive amount of material. Look at that slab. Is this in the range? Is it a question of dimensions? Programming. No, we have to look at everything. We have to start over. Guys, I'll never finish here. I'll never finish here. If I get distracted, that one brings less material. This one loses it. Barbara is on the mountain. I'm sure there's something to look at again. All that stuff is thrown away. This stuff here? Put it back a little. It's exactly half the plate. Can't we do a little more? No, how? You can't. Let's stop for a moment. At least we've only cut about ten plates. If you tell me to take it off, I'll take it off. This is absolutely not okay. Look! Even the dimensions, 170. No, we absolutely have to use it all. To be able to guarantee a fair profit, it's crucial to obtain as many finished pieces as possible from the slabs. At the Geoa Quarry, the Antonioli brothers are preparing to begin overturning the huge 1,000 ton block. With the help of an extra large excavator, they begin to push the block. As this spreads open, socks of increasing size must be placed inside the space. How much is this here? 70. How much do you need, Danilo? Three finger width. Three fingers and this will fit. Slowly, go! First, wooden logs are used. Soon, however, the length of the logs is no longer enough to support the block. Huge stones must be inserted in their place. Danilo, is this too small? I'll try. Then, if it opens more, I'll use the bigger one. More, more. Come forward, OK? Start dropping. Go back a little, Luca. Come on, come on. Empty. We we'll use the bigger one when we're here. If anything, let's move this. It's down there with the machine. Yes. Despite the 20 tons of the first boulder, the thickness is still insufficient to keep the block spread apart. It is therefore necessary to insert a boulder weighing over 30 tons into the space, half the weight of a normal block. Are you saying it's going to hit the notch? Now I'm beginning to feel it. If we hadn't done that notch there... Come forward one meter, Luca. Okay, go. This should be enough. Let's put this in there. We should be fine. As a sock. I think we're good, right? With all the socks in place, it's time to push the huge block to the ground.
You're there. It might already fall with the notch below. I don't know. Okay? Go! Here we are. Here we are. Here it is. Thanks to careful measurement of the notch, the block falls without breaking on the quarry walls. We've already cleaned the cutout that was left on the wall, so the job was successful. Close it and take it away. But will the material obtained be to Paolo Carli's satisfaction? At the Bresci quarry, while Luca and Michaela are dealing with the last portion of the block, Barbara arrives to check the quality of the material. Hi, Michele. How are you? At first glance, it looks to me like there's something there. We'll get something out of this first part of the block, but if there's nothing on the other side, we're really in trouble. Listen, Luca, have the manoeuvre done for that piece there, because I can't come back with the excavator. Give it a try. Perfect. Stay back. I'll do the manoeuvre. With display of the pieces for the clients just around the corner, the young project manager needs to have the maximum amount of workable marble. Go, Luca. Come forward. Go, go. Turn towards me. Push, push. Paolo, have him remove that part there that's remained and that up there. There. Go, Luca. It'll come straight down. Come towards me with the excavator. Drop there. Go. Come forward. Like that. Come on. OK. Unfortunately, the rest of the bank fractures when it hits the ground. Depending on the dimensions you need, maybe that little piece there. Barbara, is there something or not? They're too small. Let's go ahead. Shall we go back there or stay here? I would stay here. So we're staying? We're staying. Anyway, we didn't struggle that much this time. Give me the dimensions and maybe we can do something. We know the dimensions, they're big and with these blocks here... Remember, you get by with little, but die with nothing. Yes, but the order must move forward. I'm in serious trouble. To start with, I'll do this block here. I'll send it down so you can start breathing a little too. I'll do the cleaning and put the machine back there. Okay. Okay. In the meantime, Carly has come to the Geo Quarry to evaluate the new material. There he is. Look, it's always exciting. I'll greet him first. Are you good? Are you well? I think I'll make you happy. My men want me to come and fix things. I'm trying. I think I've managed to keep my commitment. Now let's see. You've made quite the boulder. How much do we have here? I think it covers the 7,000 meters we've agreed upon. Excellent. Come on, I'll make you happy. Let's go up and see it. You're very organized. Good morning. Floors washed, wow. The quality always increases. How wonderful. Great. I think we have three portions here. One and two with the dimensions you told me, 
And this here is the third. So my grain is at a 45. It remains on one side, which is that one there. Perfect. And now I'll find it there. So my plate size is this. Okay, Jacopo? Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. Carly was happy with the material and I was convinced of it because it's the best part of the quarry. White veined joy. And that's it. Good. And that said, now comes the twist. Last night they took a good slice of work from another company and assigned me another 5,000 meters. Well, it's work, damn it. I'm not asking for the moon. There it is. It's ready. But here I'd have to do some cuts to remove it, and doing those cuts there, I'll lose almost all the dimensions. We managed to overturn this. I even got the corner. With this, to give you those dimensions, I'd have to take it down intact. And can't you see the geometry? This is a big problem. He looked a little worried because he also knows my request is a bit categorical because we have to continue in the same vein and with that quality. Well, it's a done deal for me. While working to the millimeter allows them to make the most of the quarry, on the other hand, it makes unexpected requests very difficult to comply with. Now the Antonioli brothers must find a way to quickly satisfy Carly's new order. At the Russia quarry, the block-saving resin is finally ready and Enrico was able to cut the block. Looking at the block, I think there's some material there. Let's hope the resin works and the block comes down intact enough to recover some pieces that can be brought down to make Barbara happy. At least that way she'll relax and get off my neck. Now everything's ready to begin the overturn. How are we doing here? Now let's use these bigger ones. Let's try the shovel. With the excavator we'll cross paths and I'm afraid of doing damage. Since it's the first experiment of its kind ever done, everyone's attention and pressure is now focused on the young quarry manager. I don't want to put pressure on you, but today we have to make a good impression because there are the resin makers and the company present. So, safety first and a job well done, okay? Go, go, raise it, okay? Here we are. Now, do you think it'll go? There were some defects that worried me, but the workmanship I saw seems to have gone well. So I'm shaking as much as you are, maybe more. Let's hope it goes well. Can't you see? The rock isn't working. Do you see it there? Guys, let's stop and try to take it down. Let's move everything there. You stay there, Michele. Watch me and tell me where I am. And if I need to move. Yes, let's try. Come on. The time has finally come to find out whether this use of time, energy and technology will live up to its promises. La zona, la zona è stretta. 
This area is narrow. The machine works a little sideways, so when it pushes, it can move sideways. And I was afraid it would hit the mountain. So I tried to have the operators on the ground follow me on both sides, so as not to do any damage. There it is. The block that was originally full of defects splits in two upon hitting the ground, yet remains intact. Considering the condition of the block, it's pretty much intact. That stuff worked. It should have broken into a thousand pieces. Barbara, in my opinion, will recover some of the material here. Yes, we'll recover it. You see here? Everything stuck together. Even though it wasn't an impeccable result, the project has proven valid, and there's still ample room for improvement. I'm going back to Tenax, and we'll take stock of the situation based on what we saw today. So you need some time to... I need some time to adjust the new cartridges. So Enrico, let's go ahead. I'll put this into production, so you'll have some stuff down below and then we'll continue. Be quick. You can rest assured. Despite the many difficulties faced, this was the first positive day since the start of the season. Let's go, Ricardo. You work during the day, you sleep in the evening. The Brescia and Russia quarries have finally begun extracting the quantities of marble needed for the 555 order. And even Mario at the Piastroni quarry was able to satisfy Letizia's requests. Today is over. My goodness. So much that he received an order for a new block, but not everything has gone for the best. In your opinion, on the that nail there, isn't there a little something that isn't there anymore? The bar was there. These here or there were... it seems thin. It looks fresh. Maybe something moved. But I had already taken a look. It's hot. And in the evening it's cold and the defects expand. It's basically like a thermal shock. Pushing production to the limit in a quarry that has just entered a tunnel can, in fact, involve risks. To solve the problem, you have to call. Are you calling tomorrow morning? I'll call immediately to ease my mind. Before resuming work, the walls of the quarry will have to be checked and shored up by trundlers, the safety specialists. And even for Barbara, there isn't time to enjoy the victories of the day before Paolo, worried about the economic results of the order, tries to convince her to save on the use of material. How much loss did we have on that block there? I always lose material on our blocks. But how much? There's always a lot of loss on our blocks. But what are we talking about? But they'll discard my stuff. It's useless to... Now that I've followed the entire project supply chain, I understand the difficulties of the quarrymen. These difficulties are added to those I have here in following the range, the material. Expect that stuff there is in the range. No, no, the grey veins there. She certainly acted to the utmost of her professionalism, but every now and then I have to reprehend her. The project manager, however, is adamant. Customer satisfaction comes first. I understand, Barbara, but we could have made another bathroom. There isn't enough for another bathroom. These are problems that I try to evaluate very carefully because I end up with an economic result that can be either positive or negative. Or negative. With quality control of the finished pieces by the inspector looming, will the stone men prove up to the challenge?
In the next episode of Stone Men, Carly and Barbara must face the first quality control of the 555 order. The Antonioli brothers find themselves dealing with water issues, while the Bresci and Russia quarries struggle to keep up with the pace imposed by the base.